What's going on, people? Happy Sunday morning. We are at the uh, the uh, Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club, the Polo Grounds, for the Montecito Motor Classic. And we are here with a couple of cars that we brought. That's the uh, 1931 Rolls-Royce Boattail Speedster from the Murphy. What's up, Terry? We also brought in this uh, 63 Jag. I got an itch. Yep. Uh, and uh, for some reason, there's a Corvette here too uh, in near our space. But uh, this is the Polo Fairgrounds. I'm going to give you guys uh, an idea what it looks like. What's up, Jerry? So this is the uh, Fairgrounds this morning. Cars are rolling in. We got all kinds of stuff going on today. There's some of the work from Mark Sterenberger. We'll be talking with Mark as well as everybody else. I, I figure I'll I'll go over here first, show you guys some cars that are have rolled in. It's kind of a snappy, crisp morning here in Montecito. Dana's here. Let's say hi to Dana. Hey Dana, come here. We're live uh, shooting from Montecito. What's up? Buddy? How are you, man? Well, um, it's we got a beautiful day. It's it's incredible. We're on the grass. Um, what did you we're bring? On the grass. What's that? I've thing? got three cars. What's that? I've got thirty-two Buick. Okay. I have the thirty-six Hup Mobile, mm -hmm. and I'm going to fetch fetch my uh, thirteen Ford Model T uh, Fire Chiefs car. You got to walk home and then go. I got to walk home. Yeah, yeah. Well, you get some exercise today. <laughs> yeah, while you're here. All anyway, right. I got to hustle. Okay. But get, good get to see you. All right, we're going to walk sir. around, show people some uh, great cars. Thank we'll go, you, sir. We'll start with your Hup over here. Um, I I hope I'm in the right spot <laughs> to be. They didn't lead me. In. I'll they push it said, if I need to. They said, park yourself. All okay. Right. All right. See you later. Yeah. Hey, Let's take a look at Dana's Hup. This is the Hup Mobile. Pretty rare car. Quite beautiful. Yeah, I like that. So Dana's got a few cars. There's a nice Cadillac rolling in there. Look at that. Let's start over here with some uh, some exotics, which we've seen a lot of these before. Here's a, uh, a McLaren. This goes out to my friend uh, Frank Stephenson. Frank, if you're watching, there's your car, buddy. Yep. Hey guys, how's it going? Good morning. Ferrari. Uh, a lot of these are uh, what we call Malibu taxis. Not too bad. Oh, there's Maureen and Daniel over there. Let's go take a look at the uh, the Magnuson Beast. Colwell Banker. There's a nice uh, Woody that's uh, rolling in. Look, it's Maureen and Daniel. Hey, Purple. What's up, people? How you doing? You're live right now, so if you pick your nose, it's happening. Oh, my God. Yeah, so what are you uh, uh, displaying today? We got a little plethora mm -hmm. of fun things. Mm -hmm. From steering systems to shift knobs to jewelry. And then we have our track roads. Yes. Which, uh, Maureen, are you going to like sit there all day and kind of model the uh, track roadster? Yes. Yes. Okay. Come here, you. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing fine. Good to Beautiful see Beautiful day. Sun is out. We're on the grass. It doesn't fine. suck. Oh, look at those. Quite nice. Look at her glasses. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Uh, uh, so uh, everything's good? You guys yes. just getting all set up? All right. So it's behind the Would scenes. Would you like some coffee? No, I'm I'm fully juiced at the moment. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to have more. I'll come back and say hi to you guys when you're all set up. Okay. All right. Here's the track roadster. You guys have seen this if you've come to Muscles and Mojo. It's about 600 horsepower and it weighs about 1,200 pounds. Some kind of ridiculous numbers like that. Let's head on over to um, a few other exotics. There's a nice 720. Look at that. Yeah, that's a beautiful color. That's really sweet. Yeah, look at that. That is a great looking car. Really nice. Got a BMW uh, display, a Land Rover display over here. What is this? We got some craziness happening next to this Porsche. 
some people are into cars like this, but I tend to be into this kind of thing. What the hell is that? Yep. Wow. Yeah, I'd like to go get some groceries in this thing. That's pretty cool. Best of show right there, concourse. I'll take it. Car doesn't even come with a steering wheel. Not yet. What's up, guys? How's it going? Good, good. How you doing? Not too bad. Good. We're shooting live today. Awesome. Some neat stuff. Who's uh, Rat Rod over here? Rat's Jeff. He'll be here in a little bit. Okay, I'll come back then. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's get off the uh, the sun side and flip this thing around so you guys can see some of these incredible cars. Lots of stuff rolling in. Look at this, just just goes on and on and on. It's a concourse. So we're gonna see a lot of different types of vehicles today. That's a beauty. Very nice. What year is this? 28. 28, same year my dad was born. I won't forget. Can one of you guys talk to me about this car? Okay. Let's uh, let's do it over here. Let me flip this around. That's a beauty. Uh, give me your name. Ted Carlson. Uh, this is Ted. It's a 28 what? 1928 Chandler dual cowl Phaeton. Mm -hmm. It's a speedster for five. Okay. Um, there's only three of them known left to exist. Uh, they don't really know how many were made in this there configuration. You go. Okay. Um, the other two, I believe, are in museums. I'm not sure. And how long have you had this? Uh, we've had it about uh, six, seven years now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Why? So, why this car for you as opposed to that McLaren over there? <laughs> well, we had a lot of cars, but okay. uh, wanted a pre-war car. Yeah. Uh, and really love the dual cowl, mm -hmm. uh, dual windshield. Uh, is, is this cars. your wife over here? This is my wife. She, she yeah. can't stop smiling for some reason. <laughs> Come on over. Come on over. <laughs> What's your name? Monica. Hi, Monica. Okay. So, uh, you know, it's the world is going to hell in a handbasket, it seems, but we're going to a concourse. You know, we're having a good time. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's your advice for uh, for living a good life, guys? To live every moment. Yeah. Seize the day. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you never know uh, what do, tomorrow will bring. Right. Do what you love. And uh, these guys just happen to love this car. So uh, I appreciate your time. You bet. Thanks very, very much. Cool stuff. All right. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. 1928. It's a beauty. Look at that. It's good, but it's not excellent. But it's also... Yep, that's a Corvette, Babel. That's a Corvette. Very nice. Giordano Brothers, look at this. Anheuser-Busch, that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. So uh, we are in uh, technically Montecito. Look at these hills. Isn't that beautiful? What a stunning day for a concourse. Great Cadillac. Yeah, the lines just go on and on. Hudson Super 6, 1946, look at that. That came to Muscles and Mojo a few weeks ago. Good morning. Looks good, man. Very nice. Corvair, another best of show. Man, that's a beauty. Woohoo! Kathy Nelson, uh, Eric Mitchell Bolin. What's up, buddy? What else we got? Dave Kleitz, good to see you. Dennis, Terry, right on. Brad, everybody's joining in. Look at these cars, amazing. Great stuff, great stuff. Yeah, you, you uh, started to get boiling, right? Yeah, we got really, really hot. Really, really. Like, we got, we got, we got on the freeway? Huh? No, I drove. Oh, 
So the show hasn't really started yet. Everyone's just kind of setting up, getting their cars clean. Look at those mountains back there. Isn't that spectacular? Geneva Brewer, thanks for joining us today. We are live in, uh, technically in Montecito for the Montecito Motor Classic at the Santa Barbara Polo Grounds, which is nowhere near Santa Barbara, quite a ways south. But it sure sounds good. Nice Chevy, look at that. Great stuff. Okay, we're gonna go get closer to where we're set up. We brought in this checker and this camper. What's up? Good morning. What's up, Got some here. good stuff going on. Look yes, at this. Sir. Very nice. Got the matching shirt, man. That works. <laughs> Looks good. It's baseball season. So yeah, right, gotta right. Have the baseballs. Got to get those in there. <laughs> Great job. So I went to the Hot Wheels convention yesterday, which is basically just like this show, only uh, smaller cars. I did not shoot a live, uh, although I did a live with. Um, the guys from uh, Diecast Heroes. If you go to their page on Instagram, you'll see what we did, what we shot. Yeah, that's nice. That's a photo right there. Look at that. That's a photo. Cha-ching. Cars are still rolling in. So I'm going to do a live this morning just as it rolls in, and then I'll bring you guys on again later on today so we get to see a little bit more i'm gonna flip through here sun's out and it's uh blinding everybody this morning but look at the dew on the grass yes ma'am excalibur look at this we got one of these at the museum it doesn't have the the gold little thing there Look at this. This is a Delage. Wow, that's a beauty. That's really nice. Sweet. Very nice. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Good Bill. to see you. Hey, Bill. Good to see you again. So, uh, Bill, did you bring something in? No. Yeah. Oh, this for is the, yours? For the mullet. No, it's the mullet. That's the mullet. Well, I know you've been out there a few we, times. We just pretend it's yours. I, I, no, I don't, did you I drive don't it do in? do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I drove it from the truck. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, sometimes yeah. that's just enough. Oh, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, it's good. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of stressful. So, can you tell me about sort this of, car? Sort of. Yeah, 1937 Delage D8, mm -hmm. 120. There were about 66 of them built. And uh, this one was owned by a, a French general who uh, tried to get into the States after the war. He couldn't, so he sent the car. Uh, came over a little later. It went to RKO Studios. Mm -hmm. And this is the one Gene Kelly sat in that seat right there. Wow. An American in Paris. No kidding. That's the one. Same car. He he sat in the driver's seat. Uh, I think he was driven. He was driven. I mean, okay. Nina drove wow. It. Beautiful. But, uh, yeah, that's that's the one. You're going to be here all day? I'll be here all day. Okay, we'll come back and talk more about it. All right. Okay. Good to see you. Thank you, Matt. I think there's a potential episode there. If you guys think so, let me know. If you guys want to learn more about that car, check out Betsy. She's a beauty. This looks pretty darn original. Are the oranges original also? Vintage oranges? Yeah, let me take a look inside that thing. Wow. It's original. Yeah. That's great. 
This is the kind of car you see in uh, in movies. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not restored. Look like it's the real deal. Just one. One family owner. That's right. Wow. Great stuff. Thank you, guys. I smell smoke. Yeah, that's intimidating a little bit. So uh, here's a question: If uh, if they bring back Night Riders, should it be Mopar? Absolutely. Yeah. Mopar, or no car. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Hi there. How are you? Fantastic. What year is this? Eighty-five. This is uh, this is one of the cars that I've always wanted. I wanted in college, yes. it, and it's just uh, spectacular. Wow. Oh, just, we just bought it in uh, of last summer, I guess. Yeah. We well, it in Maryland you're, it you're matching. You look great. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that. Lancia. Very nice. Let's take a look at some of the art that's here. Got some great people. Here's some uh, photography. Very nice. Good morning. There's some sculpture from uh, Richard Petrushka. Several of these pieces were at the Murphy when he displayed his art there. You guys have seen these pieces. Here's a new one. I haven't seen that one. Very nice. Look, it's David Neal. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, just uh, putting the finishing touches on our display for the Montecito Motor Classic. And what did we bring today? So we have three things from the museum. We have a 63 Jaguar XKE. We have a 31 Rolls Royce, which belongs to the Shelby family. And then uh, we have a 66 Checker Marathon wagon with a 1947 Airstream We Win. And the uh, this is yours, the 47? Yes, yes. Yeah. So the, the wagon and trailer uh, are mine. And so I spent most of yesterday getting it ready and the detailer is here uh, finishing it up. So. It's nice when you can get everything in one place, finally. It's right. It's yeah. right. Right. So it's going to be a great day. Okay. Yeah. All right. There's the Jag. Very nice. You guys have seen that if you come to the show, come to the museum. There's Ernie taking care of our 31. There's the checker. Okay, we're going to walk over here. There's a bunch of Porsches and classic Ferraris. Erwin, what's going on, man? Get your brother out of bed because he needs to be up here for this show. Come and visit. This is the, really the time to take pictures. That's incredible. Look at that top. Wow. Amazing. I'm not sure what year that Alpha is, but it's uh, quite beautiful. Hey guys. There's Magnum's Ferrari, 328. Uh, sorry, 308 is Magnum's Ferrari. Dino, quite nice. Very cool. Let's take a look at this Corvette over here. This looks rather wicked. Yeah, boy. Good stuff. That's how you get around in these shows. Electric bikes. That's a, that's a nice setup. That's a good size wheels here that uh, actually work pretty well in this car. Good combination. Very nice. 
A little bit of Mopar. GTO, look at that. Very nice. There you go, perfect. <laughs> Looks great. We also have a helicopter over here. Some more classics. Uh, all this space is going to be filled. You can see cars are still coming in. So lots more to see that's going on. Uh, we also have uh, our friends of the Barris clan who brought in this, uh, the original monster coach. Big thanks to Joji and Team Barris for bringing this in. What's up, Fred? Fred is Herman's little brother, the miniature version. Let's go look at this helicopter and this, some of this army stuff. See, the cars are just rolling in like freaking crazy time. every direction they're coming in ah you got the air conditioning installed Guys uh, prepared for anything today, right? Today we are. <laughs> Looks great. Wait, what year is this? This is a 1945 Ford GPW. Wow, great stuff. Really neat. All original. It's a little unnerving that there was a time where this uh, actually had application. Now it's at a concourse. Who'd have thunk? Life is weird, people. Very strange. All right, as the cars continue to roll in, I'll come back, show you guys some more, because all this space is going to be filled. It's going to be a full house today out here in the sun at the concourse. Maybe we can go say hi to a couple more people before I let you guys go. If there's something else you want to see, leave it in the comments section and I'll uh, peruse, make sure we go back and check it out. Uh, George Hendricks, what's up? Erwin, good to see you. Edgar, what's going on? Today we're at the Montecito Motor Classic. We're gonna be here all day. We got several cars here. It's a stunningly terrible day, as you can plainly see. It's the weather is horrible. There's Mel over here. Let's go say hi to Mel. Gotta be careful because he's a magician at the Magic Castle. I gotta hold on to my wallet. What's up? Mel, how you doing, buddy? Come here. Fantastic, Tim. Come here. I am so honored to be in your presence, Tim. I don't get to meet a celebrity every day. <laughs> uh, you're not talking about me, are you? I am talking uh, about you. We're having you. a great time here today. So what did you bring? Did you bring your uh, Auburn or, or what? I brought a 328, uh, 87, 328 ah, Ferrari. Ah, that's right. So it's the step up from the Magnum PI Ferrari. Right. Right, they, made, they fixed the car and they turned it into a 328. Right. Yeah. Why that car? Why did you pick that one? Uh, I'm kind of my uh, dream car. I just always like the body style, and it's uh, I like the gated shifter, and it's just more the body style. I just love it. Yeah. But, you know. What What's the best part about coming out to a concourse like this? I'm meeting people like you, 
hanging out, yeah. just talking to people and shooting yeah. the shit, as they say. Yeah. Right, right. Well, uh, try not to steal any wallets today. <laughs> I only have one. That's yours. I'll give it back to you at the end of the show, but there's not going to be any cash in it. Sorry. Actually, you know what? I'll replace it with double the cash. Oh, that's good. That works. Thank you, Mel. All right. Uh, so that's kind of what we've got going on so far. Uh, I think there's a couple of concept cars over here. The uh, the the um, the marquee is concept cars, but as you guys know, those are a little bit difficult to be able to wrangle. So we got a couple of them over here. Let's take a quick look at those before I let you guys go. I don't know much about these, but uh, we'll take a look at them and I'll give you some more information later, maybe. Good morning. Good morning. What is this? Tell me about this thing. Built in 62 as a 63 uh, by Lola Cars in England. Uh, there were only three developed. This is the original prototype and the only one that exists in its version form. Wow. When Ford couldn't buy Ferrari, they bought Lola, they bought two of the three cars. Tested them in Europe at Goodwood and Monza, uh, 63, September through December, and from that testing, came the Ford GT. There you go, so wow. This is the grandpa of the Ford GT. Very, very cool, very cool. Look at that. And Grant, the owner, was a Shelby race car team driver. Frank they took the Daytona to Europe in 65. Mm -hmm. They kicked Ferrari's back end off of the podium, and because of their success running Ford Motors in the Daytona's. Henry took notice, gave the gig to Shelby, and that's what Shelby ended up doing. Wow. A lot of history between uh, this car and Alan. Yeah, and yeah. Back in the days of... Great stuff. Well, thanks for bringing it. You are welcome. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me. You bet. Here's a uh, Toyota. Case Sarah, I guess. Okay, okay. This was a concept a while back. Oh, yeah. What's happening? What is going on? MC's in the house. <laughs> Kyra's here. Mark Sternberger is trying to fix his knees. What are you doing, Mark? Right here. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, Mark Sternberger's in the house. Uh, you got your stuff here, and you uh, you started putting the stuff up about what three weeks ago? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. It will take about two weeks to uh, dismantle it again. Right, and the, and the horses are all doing their things. We're on the polo grounds it's while incredible. you're setting up. Uh, incredible. Not easy. But have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat. Would you like to? Yeah, see I would like to see your hat. <laughs> Uh, is it as good as Joji's hat? Oh my gosh! Look at well, this. Well, you know, today wow. it's a it's a contest. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you bring, oh, look at his hat! <gasps> no, he wins. He wins. Oh look, I love his hat. <laughs> Welcome to Kooksville. Okay. Uh, I feel bad because my hat is not quite as nice as everyone oh, else's. Oh, everybody has. Kyra, come over here. Uh, did you and Gary bring something in? <laughs> of course. Where is it? Oh, he snuck in, yes. snuck in on the back. All right. It's fantastic. behind the van. All right. I'll go and find him and embarrass him as best I can. You can't miss it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go look at Gary's thing. MC's in here. What's up, buddy? Good morning. It is beautiful out here. It's crazy. Unbelievable. Yeah. Isn't it terrible? Yeah. The ground is so perfect. The cars are perfect. The did, people are perfect. Did you bring this, uh, this in? No. We didn't have any room. <laughs> There's no room. No room for it. Yeah. We'll bring it next uh, it's not cheap to uh, bring a car into this show. Uh, I believe it's so, 150 uh, No, it's probably, yeah, it's more than that. It, it depends. It depends. Okay. It depends. It depends on how big your car is. Yeah, right, right. All right, I'm going to go look at Gary's car over here. You guys have seen this. I was going to let you go, but now, you know, things are just kind of rolling in as we, uh, as we shoot live here at the Montecito Motor Classic. Uh, the show has not really officially started yet. But this will give you a, an idea. So uh, when uh, this car was being built, I was doing Gary's coloring book. And uh, the last page of the book is this car, although we didn't know what it was going to look like when it was finished. I did my best to interpret what Gary wanted. And that became his coloring book. So you may look at the back of the coloring book 
and notice that the car is slightly different than this iteration because it evolved. Look at these wooden fins, isn't that great? Yeah, very cool. It's a big car. It's a very big car. If I uh, spot Gary, we'll get him on. But for now, we are at the Montecito Motor Classic. And this is Fireball Live, so come on and join me a little bit later on. We'll go live again. Yes, the beast. All right, what's up, Kristen? Thanks for watching. Uh, if you missed any of this, you can go back and watch from the beginning. It'll go up on Facebook momentarily, but we'll come back and do a live uh, again later today as cars roll in because there is so much more going on here up in Montecito at the Santa Barbara Polo, Polo Grounds. If you're in the area, come on in. You can park over in the back, have some coffee courtesy of Haggerty, donuts and all that kind of stuff. Just have a good time. Say goodbye, Ernie.